What's up? I'm Joe Tobiasen, Washington Element Photographer. And uh, I'm a photographer. I think I take decent photos. I hope you agree. You're probably watching that because you think at least they're okay. I don't like front end tech, but I am not good at the back end tech of things. So uh, I am finally getting around to upgrading my storage solution. And I'm going to install a Synology NAS, which if you don't know what that is, Google it or YouTube it because that, I've watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to set this up. But with that, everybody keeps saying that it's very easy. And I wanted to make a video of myself installing it to see if it is as easy as they say. I am the ghost of Synology Future, here to tell you when you are making terrible decisions. So before I start, um, when I redid, when we redid our basement here and I built my studio, I did wire in some uh, ethernet cables and one ethernet port down here so that I would have a dedicated line that not gonna work. With this kind of specific thing in mind, uh, I didn't set up a switch right now because my Wi-Fi is really good to my main computer so I don't feel the need to. <laughs> Also, remember, I'm a complete noob. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going through my experience of learning. I bought the Synology DS1821 Plus. <laughs> it is a eight bay drive. To make this a little bit more future-proof, uh, I went with the eight. Now, I only bought four drives for now. I think I'm probably gonna end up having to buy probably two more pretty quickly. So it does slide out really nice and easy like it's supposed to, which is great. And here. Uh, I did buy the Seagate Iron Wolf NAS drives, which is what everybody said you're supposed to buy. So I can hear the Synology. I can hear the Synology is working. And it's like it's I don't know if it's like functioning correctly, but it is definitely doing something. So now I think what I'm supposed to do is go and get it set up. So find.synology.com. Cool. So apparently you go to find.synology.com and that is there's not one within LAN. All right, <clears throat> so since it's not showing up, uh, I'm gonna turn off videos and try some things. My first thought of what to check is whether or not the actual LAN system is working correctly. <laughs> um, Cause that would, like, did I, did I mess up my LAN cable somehow? Um, I can't imagine how I did cause it's all super duper simple, but I'm gonna go check those throughout the house because I, had, I hadn't had a chance to check them per, beforehand. <laughs> so, after some research and playing around with things, it seems that the problem was my long cable that was supposed to run from the router upstairs down through the house to the basement, which is a huge bummer because I snaked that through a bunch of places and it's not working. So in the meantime, until that gets fixed, I'm just gonna plug it in up there into the router where it lives and we'll just kind of let that go for now because it shouldn't really matter. So now let's try again. Oops. Now, one thing that is good here, I do just check my, my ethernet here and it does say that that is connected there at the 1G speed, so everything is connected. To, that is connected directly into that up there. That should be fine. Not gonna work. Yeah, find.synology.com. Let's see. Please work. Hey, there we go. So that was to say I have the four drives in there, and then it will wipe them all and reformat them. Now it's doing the partition and cleaning and stuff. Hmm. I'm just gonna pause this.
because this could take a while. So now we are going to create a new storage pool and stuffs. All right. So we're going to start. So I do know this, that I do, because I know that, like, I did a little bit of research on these things, and SHR is going to be great for what I want. I'm going to choose to do SHR2 because... I know down the road I'm going to turn this into, like, as it's going to get bigger, it's going to, like, I'd like to have two two drives in there that'll be in, in as part of the backup system. So I'm going to do SHR2 now so that when I add no drives, I don't have, there's no reformatting or anything. I have to just, like, add them and they'll go. Um, but it means right now I don't have as much hard drive space. And I don't know what BTRFSS, but it was recommended. So we're just going to do that it's going to wipe them so this right here this is why i'm doing this as a two right now with the two drives as part of the backup system because i don't want to have to wipe because otherwise i don't know what i do like how would i back up all that information first great so we got a tour everything is healthy <laughs> I think everything is up and running. I'm now going to begin the process of moving uh, all of my photos and stuff to the NAS. Bad idea. Uh, I think it worked. No. But uh, definitely worked. Things that seem to work really well is stuff that I'm going to forget about because it just like flew by. And then the other half of it is the stuff that's like super frustrating. Now, obviously, the cable thing was a huge bummer and i keep looking at it because it's like between me and the camera so i keep looking off it anyway like that really is frustrating and it's going to be a thing that's going to take me a while to get around to fixing because i probably would prefer that that mask lives down here in the office space rather than the other place that it's being stored right now uh, i need you know um but at the same point i have it working so i don't really care that much everything figured out and it seems to be working pretty well and I have the Synology synced it's linked it's working on both computers so I think I finally got it that definitely took longer than I expected which in that respect is also completely unsurprising to me like it doesn't feel it doesn't surprise me at all that it was harder than I thought it would be but as always it's like it's annoying when technology doesn't work as the work like it's supposed to some of those are kind of beyond my control like the fact that the first uh cable that I ran through the house didn't work that's bonkers like how I, I don't even I don't understand how a brand new cable wouldn't work like that now I should have checked it that's for sure like that's definitely on my, that's on me um but I mean seriously like how is that not how does that not work that just seems like that's the most obvious thing um the thing with what hard drive failing right off the bat that's Again, completely not my fault, but at the same point, I kind of did it right in that like I plugged it in and let it run for a day and then I found the problem and all I did is I sent it into uh, Newegg and they sent me a new one right back. So that wasn't a huge issue. Um, and other things kind of up and running, it does seem to be working. I guess the rest of those kind of mistakes that I made were simple, stupid things that like, yeah, someone who doesn't know a lot about this kind of stuff would make and now I know a lot more. And across the board, setting up the Synology system, I am blown away by how user-friendly the Synology system itself actually was. Like, again, I'm a complete novice about this, and it was really easy to set up with one major hiccup, and that was passwords. 
I don't know what, I don't know why. The password managers that I use both on my web browser and then also inside of Mac itself, for some reason didn't save the passwords. And I am so used to just kind of like right click, create password, go. And so like that the system creates these like, you know, really secure passwords and then saves them. And for some reason it didn't do that. And I don't know why. Luckily, I was like screen recording myself making these making these along the way. And so all the passwords, I just went back and looked at them and like hit pause on the video and then type things out. So I had it all stored. Now I will delete those videos and too. But like, it just was really annoying because that stuff's supposed to be stored and it wasn't. So I guess as you're going through, if you do that same route and that you're going to use the auto generated passwords, you might want to make sure that you're writing those down in something just to make sure you get them used, get them saved. And once you log in once or twice, you know that everything is saved where it's supposed to be, then, you know, destroy the paper that it's on or do whatever you need to do. But just make sure that you do it right or come up with like create it with a super simple password and then change it down the road or something like that. But just like that password bit was a little bit annoying. Other than that, I'm really excited about this system. I did find it to be quite easy to install in general, even if along the way I had a couple of hiccups. So I hope that was helpful to you. I hope it encourages you to be smarter about your own data backup and I'll see you around. I am the ghost of Synology Future, here to tell you when you are making terrible decisions. Not gonna work. Bad idea. <laughs>